Welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to be making a steak and mushroom pie. It is absolutely delicious. So for this dish I'm going to be using ready-made short crust pastry so it couldn't be any easier and it is absolutely delicious. The spice blend we're going to be using from the Demart range is their Montreal Steakhouse seasoning. And if you don't have access to the Demart range of products then just try and choose a really decent steak seasoning for this dish. As usual a full list of ingredients will be given at the end of the video so let's have a look at those ingredients now and anything else we're going to need for today. So the ingredients for today I've got 800 grams of diced beef. So the diced beef chunks are a little bit too big for a pie uh, in the pack so what I'm going to do is just cut them up smaller. If your knife skills are not great then just use a pair of scissors to do that, that's quite easy. A litre of good quality beef stock. I've got two packs of short crust pastry, ready rolled short crust pastry. I may not need two packs, just see how we go. You need one large white onion which has been sliced. In here I've actually got one medium sliced white onion and two shallots. It's just because that's what I had in the fridge. But one large white onion sliced is perfect. 100 grams of plain flour which has had one teaspoon of pepper and one teaspoon of salt added to season it. We've got one medium free range egg and I've added to that about a tablespoon of milk. That's been beaten so this is our wash or our glaze for the top of the pie and the reason for adding the uh, milk is it just loosens that egg a little bit and uh, creates a lighter glaze for the pie. 20 grams of the Malat Montreal Steakhouse seasoning. We've got 20 grams of butter and I'm going to be using about a tablespoon of Worcester sauce or Worcestershire sauce. We're also going to need about six closed cup mushrooms which have been washed and sliced and a 400 gram tin of tomatoes. So our first job then is to cut up the beef smaller so I've done that here and we're looking at about a centimetre square cubes for the beef. Once we've done that we take our seasoned flour and we just want to add the beef to the flour and then just make sure that the beef is coated on all sides. So once we've coated our beef I've got a large casserole pan here and there is about six tablespoons of olive oil in the bottom of the pan just coming up to temperature. Sounds like a lot of oil but combined with the butter this is what, what is going to make our roux and that will help thicken the uh, sauce. So once it's up to temperature just shake off any excess flour and I'm going to be just frying this beef off for about three or four minutes and I'm going to do this probably in about two batches. So once the first batch of beef is cooked I just want to remove it with a slotted spoon and then exactly the same process for the second batch. Just added a little bit more olive oil to the pan for this second batch of beef. Again, shake off any excess flour. And the flour that's left in the bowl after we've removed the beef, we're going to use that in order to thicken the gravy for this pie. So once we've taken the second batch of beef from the pan, add in the butter, turn the heat down to a low heat. Once that butter's melted, we're going to be adding in the onion and just gently sweating the onion down for about two or three minutes. So all of these 
beef pieces in the bottom of the pan. The pan will automatically deglaze as we start to add the uh, beef stock. And about 60 or 70 percent of the flavour of this pie is actually in those beef pieces. So as I said, just going to sweat these onions down now for two or three minutes over a low heat. So the flour that we have left over from the beef, that goes in now. And we just want to cook this through for about a minute. Okay, so now we add in about a third of the beef stock. And just mix that through. Any lumps in that flour will come out. I can tell you the smell already from this is absolutely fantastic. Okay, second third of the stock goes in. And again, just mix that in, maybe a minute or so. And the last of the stock goes in. Okay, so now I want to add in the Montreal Steakhouse seasoning. Our Worcestershire sauce. And also our tin of tomatoes. So you can use plum tomatoes or um, chopped tomatoes, it doesn't matter. We are going to be cooking this on the hob for an extended period of time. So if it is plum tomatoes as it is here, they will soon break down. Just want to bring this up to a gentle simmer before we add the meat. Okay, so next step is to add the meat. And we just want to stir that in. So the next step with this dish is I've got this pan over a very low heat. I'm going to bring it up to a really gentle simmer. So you can just barely see the uh, stock moving on the surface. And I'm going to leave it uncovered for about an hour before we add the mushrooms. If we add the mushrooms at this stage, because we are cooking this for an extended period on the hob, the mushrooms will just go to mush by the time the pie is ready to uh, be served. So as I said, on the hob now, very gentle simmer for an hour, then we'll come back and add the mushrooms. So after an hour, this is what it looks like. The tomatoes are broke down, that stock has reduced, intensified the flavour, the meat is starting to soften really nicely. So the next thing to do is to put the mushrooms in. And I'm just going to mix those in and then we're going to leave this on the hob for another half an hour and then we're ready to build our pie. So we have our ready rolled short crust pastry. The only thing I've done with it is just place the rolling pin on the top just to roll it out a little bit more so it's wide enough for our dish which I think is about 20 centimeters or 22 centimeters uh, in diameter and about five centimeters deep so we place that on top just to get a rough idea of where we need to cut and just cut the pastry off then we take our piece of pastry, just gently roll this over the top and then just position it and just push in. Lift the sides up when you push in at the bottom so you don't make any holes. And we just want to work this in all the way around. 
Okay, so once we've done that, just need to trim off the excess around the edge. So once we've trimmed around the edge roughly, the piece we've trimmed off plus the additional piece on still on the paper, I'm going to add those together, roll that out, and then that will become the top of the pie. Take our pie casing and then start to fill with our steak. So the filling has cooled down enough to go into the pie, and that was just the time that it took to do the pastry. So once we've filled the pie casing and the filling in the centre should be just above the sides of the pie dish, take our egg wash and just use that to go around the outside of the pie, just to create a good seal. I've already turned the oven on, so the oven is at 170 degrees centigrade and this pie when it's finished will go into the centre of that oven for about 40 minutes. You now want to place our top over the pie. Now it depends how you want to finish off the edge. But for me personally, just a fork will do. So I'm going to go around the outside of the pie with the fork, just to create a nice seal, and then just trim everything off with a knife. So that's our pie nearly finished before we bake it. Next thing to do is the egg glaze over the top. Just two slits in the top to allow the steam out, and then into the oven. So there you go, steak and mushroom pie, absolutely delicious, really easy to do and relatively inexpensive. Please subscribe to the channel and as usual if you've enjoyed this particular video hit the like button. Thank you very much for watching.